Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'll be starting a new course about investing in just random stuff like the stock market, cryptocurrency, and real estate. And today I'm going to be explaining to you what cryptocurrency is, and how to buy and send it, and especially I'm going to be doing Bitcoin, because that's the biggest one out there. And before you get into cryptocurrency, you need to know that there are hundreds and thousands of different types of cryptocurrency, with the most popular one being Bitcoin. You've probably heard of this one, but some of the other ones include Ethereum, Litecoin, and Bitcoin Cash. And before you buy any cryptocurrency, you should look at what each of them does. Because with Bitcoin, it is completely anonymous, and you are given a random string of letters and numbers that is attached to your wallet. And only you can access this wallet with a private key that is given to you when you open up a new wallet. Which is just another random string of letters and numbers that you should not give out because if someone gets that, then they can log in and take all your Bitcoin. And because there's no way to trace that random string of numbers back to you, it is completely anonymous. But there is a recent problem coming up with Bitcoin is that the transaction fees are actually based on a percentage of the current price. And so when Bitcoin was at like $20,000, the transaction fees for big transactions were over $30. But now that it's around $11,000, you can get like a cheap transaction at around $3.50 and it can go to a high of $15. So now that you kind of know the basics of Bitcoin, I'm going to explain like what you can do with it and those sort of things in a different video. But you're probably wondering, what, how do I buy it and how do I open up a wallet and how do I do all that stuff? So I'm actually going to walk you through and show you how to get a wallet and how to buy it and how to exchange it right now. So first you want to go to Bitcoin.org and make sure it's .org and you make sure you spell it right because there's a lot of spoof websites. Like if I were just to type in Bitcoin.com, this is like a spoof website. It's actually not the real Bitcoin and it actually can scam you. So make sure it's Bitcoin.org. And after you come here, you're going to want to scroll down and click Get Started with Bitcoin. And um, you're going to want to click on Choose Your Wallet right over here. Okay, now after you get here, there are two things you could do. I would recommend either Bitcoin Core or Electrum in order to download. But if you download Bitcoin Core, you actually have to download, it's called the um, blockchain. I'll explain that in a later video. But it actually takes up 150 gigabytes of storage on your device. So I would recommend doing Electrum, which actually like does it for you. And you do not have to go through downloading 150 gigabytes of that. So I'll click on here, click visit website, and click up here on download. And come to your operating system and download whichever one you want. Now after it is installed, you're going to want to create a new wallet. You can just name this whatever, I'll just name it test, click next. And unless you know what any of this is, make sure it's on standard wallet. If you want two-factor authentication, you could do that, just to make it safer. You're going to want to create a new seed. Now, just make sure it's on standard. And this seed right here, I'm actually not going to show it, it's going to show you 12 random words. And never like download this to your computer always write it down on a piece of paper and make sure nobody sees this because this is what will actually unlock your wallet if you forget the password so I'm gonna cover this up just make sure that you do not show this to anyone that you do not trust so it's gonna ask you to confirm your seed I typed it back in there click next and just enter a random password Make sure it says strong, it always helps it so that you won't get hacked. And also make sure it says encrypt wallet file. And it's going to generate your new wallet. And there you go, here's your wallet. So you're going to see a send and receive address. So you have actually set up this part now. Now you need to actually find an exchange where you could buy the Bitcoin. And by far the best one is called Coinbase. You're going to want to set up an account with that. I've actually not personally used any other service except for Coinbase, so I would recommend them. And after you create your account, you want to go over to buy and sell, add a payment method, and you could buy your Bitcoin. It's pretty simple. And after you get it, it will show up in your dashboard right down here. It'll say like Bitcoin and however much Bitcoin you actually got. Now, if you want to have it in here, this eliminates the risk of your computer breaking. It's, this is also a wallet. But then also, if Coinbase gets hacked, you basically lose all your money. So, if you want to eliminate the risk of having it online and have it on your desktop, what you're going to want to do is, after you have your Bitcoin, click on Accounts, make sure you're on Bitcoin Wallet, and click on Send. 
Now it's going to make a pop up. I don't have any Bitcoin right now, but it's going to show a pop up and it's going to ask for an address. Now the address that you want to put in here is the one under receive in your wallet and you want to click over here and it will copy it and this address is perfectly fine to give out this one up here because this is your public address it's kinda of like an email address where people can send stuff to it but no one can actually like send from it and so it's fine if people send you random bitcoin because you basically just get free money but no one can actually hack you with this information right there so you're gonna wanna when you click send put in that address put in the amount you wanna um, send and you're gonna click submit and if you have two-factor authentication it's gonna request that for you and it should show up within a couple of hours inside of your wallet and when you send it it will show up down here there will be like a transactions tab and it will actually show you if it's pending or not or if it has been submitted and after it's been submitted you should be able to go on here and it should be in there so that is how you buy and sell Bitcoin I'm gonna be explaining what the purpose is of our Bitcoin and what you can really do with it in a separate video this is kinda of just an introduction of what you can do so I hope you enjoyed